So yang ni kita akan test fly uh, menggunakan Matek Lidar This is the Matek Lidar that I have already installed Oh yeah Check out the focus horn first Okay Using the frame Ishin Wizard So let's see how it goes So actually from this remote I already set up Two different kinds of uh, Position hole I don't know if we can focus This one is for I already set up for sonar function and this one is for normal GPS mode. Both can do position hold but in a different ways. So we try to do a position hold using GPS first. Tak <laughs> jual, So here is for the position hole can control heights but it cannot handle the what we call this but it still go to the ground it cannot hold attitude holes that much but it still stay position hole Okay, so uh, this one is for uh, sonar. We will try to use uh, this function. So let's see how it goes. So the difference between GPS hole and using a Matek leader, it always hold its altitude and also the position with the help of the GPS. <laughs> so you see until now it still stay in its position and also with the altitude better than using the only the GPS itself but the problem is that is the only height that you can get if you add a little bit more height it will only stay on that position Yeah, 
And as you can see, I'm also using a lithium ion for S2 parallel. So it can fly effectively without any issue. Wah, wow. <laughs> dia takkan jatuh ke tanah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay tu. Ngam. So, the dedicated button. This one is for uh, sonar. Sonar. Also got three-way switch. This one is for angle mode. This one is for sonar. But this one is for uh, angle and then for GPS hole. Because we want to fly higher. Then the ground. Banyak juga eh. Pening lagi ni buat eh. Pening eh. Pening. Mana nak bateri dia? Cuba nak bateri. Kita risau sebab kita tak, tak, tak pakai suam. kamera. Mm -mm. So kita tahu tak tahu pula dia punya bacaan voltage tu dia kata. Okay, get up. <laughs>